Here's another privacy fence that you can build. And uh, this is the third one in the series. And for those of you who recently I loaded up a video that I had on another channel already and I had to pull it off. For those of you who are wondering what in the heck just happened to this link for today. And uh, I will put a link at the top here somewhere to the other channel for those of you who are not familiar with it. Um, it's another channel that I use to answer a lot of my questions and uh, put videos on there that uh, I think might be helpful to others but might not uh, rank very high on the search engines. And of course, that's what this stuff's all about is getting the search engine rankings. So check out the other channel and let's go ahead and get started on this video here. This one here will have horizontal um, one by six and they are going to be 10 footers. Uh, you can make these a little farther apart. These posts are five foot on center and uh, I would imagine six foot on center would be pushing it for something like this. Um, five foot on center with 10 foot boards should work okay. And if you're looking for something a little stronger, uh, maybe four foot on center will work also. And just get your boards, you know, get the one by six according to the length. You know, if you put these four foot apart, you don't need to get four footers. You can get eight footers, 12 footers, 16 footers, something like that. Same thing here. If you go 10 foot, you could use 10 footers or you can use 16 footers and cut a foot off of them if you don't want as many breaks. So keep that in mind when you are building a fence like this. Let's go ahead and uh, it has a two by six cap on it. And of course, one at the bottom. And of course, just kind of wanted to give you an idea. You will be able to see this won't be a total privacy fence. You'll be able to stand next to it and look into your neighbor's yard. You just won't be able to look very far into their yard. So it does provide you with some privacy. And of course, it would be the same for your neighbor on the other side. Now, the one thing I know a lot of people like about a fence like this is that the wind will kind of go through it a little easier than if you create a solid fence, creating less resistance. Um, if this is just a solid fence and you get a nice strong wind uh, going at a steady pace, uh, it's going to put a lot of pressure on the fence that is solid or more or less with small gaps. This thing right here has larger gaps. The air is going to go through it a little easier. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the measurements. So we are going to use one by six. You can use one by eight. You'll just need to adjust the measurements. And of course, you can make these gaps smaller or longer, depending on uh, how much privacy you want. So let's go ahead and start half of the one by six is two and three quarters. And I just kind of drew a center line here. And you don't have to draw this. You can just kind of use these measurements if you're building the same fence. Now it's going to have a two and three quarter inch gap on this side and on this side. And of course, you can always cut a board to fill this one in here. I didn't cut one, but there will be one in another example to show you that. But uh, if we go half of two and three quarters, and this is kind of where the center line, I'm using the center line off of this board and then going to the other side going to the gap and then creating a center line that would be used to position this board here. And I put all the measurements in here, two and three quarters, um, four and an eighth, two and three quarters, four and an eighth would go from here to here, two and three quarters from here to here, four and an eighth from here to here. And again, you can do the math on this and uh, see where we're, see where we're at on it. Four and an eighth, four and a quarter. I believe four and a quarter actually works out. Two and three quarters. I'll leave it. This uh, stuff is pretty accurate here. Two and three quarters is just half of this here. And of course, this would be the same boards. One by six, two and three quarter gap. One by six, two and two and three quarter gap. One by six, working your way down. And I recommend starting from at the top because it gives you a nice clean cut, but you could always start wherever you want if you're looking for a different position or some type of a different look also. 
here's another example I went ahead and made the gap an inch wider give you an idea what it would look like and of course I got rid of the 2x6 and put a 2x4 at the top and you can see here looking at this flat on or straight on you are going to see through the fence but if you stand up closer you will be able to see through the fence uh, you give, give you a little more view of your neighbor's property and they'll have a little more view of yours so again if you want looking for more privacy you like this fence put this a little closer together to get more privacy and it wouldn't be a bad idea if you really don't know what it's going to look like put together one panel you know put together a panel get your post put the panel together at the spacing you think it's going to be and then see what it looks like and of course you're going to want to use screws to remove the um, fencing and then reposition them it's a lot of work but a lot of people it's hard to um, tell you can tell by looking at this you're going to have privacy at a certain angle looking at it straight on but uh, if you want more privacy this might not be the fence for you so again this has a two by four at the top you could always eliminate the 2x4 and have the 1x4 start with the top of the fence post also. Here are the measurements for this. We have our 5.5 inch fencing boards, 3 and 3 quarter inch gaps, 3 and 3 quarter inch gaps on each side, and then of course the filler piece at the top. I think this was about an inch and an eighth. Uh, let's see if I have it in there. I do an inch and three eighths for the top piece for this particular one. And you know, for something like this, you could always make this an inch and a half if you were going to use this a two by four make it the same width so it looks nice it's going to be hard for someone to hey wait a minute you're off a, an eighth of an inch there to see something like that so anyway that is it for this video hope it helps and uh, if it does don't forget to hit the old thumbs up button